welcome to my channel. Now, normally on this channel, I review selfie sticks, but today I'm going to show you how to connect the remote control for the DJI Action 2 with the remote that you get on the DJI Action 2 remote control extension rod. Now I will be doing an actual in-depth review about the actual selfie stick, but um, this video, how to connect the remote to the Action 2 will be into that video as well. Now the first thing we have to take the remote off the selfie stick itself. And now we switch on the Action 2 by giving it a long press. So the Action 2 is now on. And with the remote, we do a long press on the record button here. And that first it tells you the battery level and now it's looking for the Action 2. And as you can see, it comes up with a number on the Action 2, so you press accept. And the, action, the remote now is trying to lock onto the Action 2. And it's counting down in seconds here. Let's try and get that on camera for you folks. As it tries to find the Action and lock onto the Action 2. Now the number one at the top here is for the um, cameras. Now I don't want to take the unit to go off, that's it. And you see here, it has found, what just flashed up on there, it said it found the DJI Action 2 remote control unit. Now, as you can see now, they're both connected. Now this camera is actually on quick, I don't want to get this in and out of focus folks, but the actual camera at the present moment, get that into focus, there it is. Try and get that it's hunting for focus, there it is. Now on the action, action 2 camera, it is actually on quick clip. So on the remote, it is showing what's actually on the camera. And as you can see, it's on quick clip on here. And, and it says here, quick clip and underneath, here, I try to get that in folks, it says 30 seconds, which this is set to 30 seconds. At the top of the remote here, which I try and get this into focus folks, very difficult to do it with the camera. <laughs> right, at the top, it roughly says here, 90% um, of the battery life here, and, and a little symbol of the battery. Now, if I press record, it's recording a click, quick clip on the DJI action here, because the numbers box here is lit up in red, and now it's counting the seconds and minutes on here of recording time. So if I press the button again, the record button, it's stopped. And if you noticed, the green light here, which says it's now connected with the camera here, is a green light. And when you start recording, it turns to a red light. Action two, as you can see here, there is a little Bluetooth symbol that comes up next to the battery to show you that this is connected via Bluetooth. To go through the different modes using the remote to, with the camera, is quite simple. What you do is you we press on this joystick, which is a five-way joystick, so it can move to the left, to the right, up, and then down, and a press function on there. So what you do is you press, you move left, or what I'm doing is moving to the right, and you can see I'm going through all the different modes. Now, when you reach a mode that you want, let's say photo, you press the joystick, you get a circle with a tick in the box, um, circle with a tick in it, 
and that tells you that you're on that mode and as you can see with the little picture here you're on that mode and it's and what you get is the little camera here to say that you're in photo we're on uh, 16 by 9 ratio very hard to pick up this on this folks but trust me that's what you're that's what you're seeing and with 10 seconds which is also placed on the camera here which you can see here uh, photo mode 16 by 9 at 10 seconds uh, for the uh, what do you call it the timer because I always have my <laughs> photos on timers so that's what it's telling me on this remote here. Now to go to the next mode, it's the same thing again. You press down, move along, and when you're on video mode, so if I press in the actual joystick, now we're on video mode here, which is 1080p at 50 frames. And as you can see on the camera here, it's 1080p at 50 frames. It doesn't tell you if you're on horizon leveling or horizon balance. It does not tell you this on this remote whatsoever. I'm gonna run through the other button on the other side with this because I've already explained to you that the this is the record button, that's your joystick, and the record button also doubles up as, as a off and on button for the remote. On the side here, you have a link button. Now the link button is for when you've got more than one DJI Action 2 camera and you want to link a second camera, it can link up to eight cameras off this remote, DJI cameras. Hopefully this will link with the DJI Action 3 and at the time of this video in September 2022, the Action 3 is gonna be coming out in probably about a week or so, but I won't be buying that camera because I do love the Action two and for my purposes um, I love the action too and it's great for what I do but hopefully this will work with the action three hopefully it does so that's your link button at the side here at the bottom we have a USB-C charge port and that's to charge the remote it takes roughly about an hour hour or so to get a full charge um, out of this it doesn't really state how long in the booklet that you get with it, how long it lasts. So as you can see, I've just took it out of the packaging and gone through it. And I've already, and I think I started off with about 80 something percent and it's gone down now or, or 70 something percent and it's gone down to 61 percent at the moment. And also at the bottom or at the, at the bottom corner, we have a space for a lanyard, holes for lanyard. I suggest that if you're only going to bring the remote and not with the selfie stick, please, please put a lanyard on this. Whether it's a neck lanyard or a wrist lanyard, put a lanyard on this because this is so small. It's that small. I would say it's just over half the width of the DJI Action 2. But the remote is not waterproof. So I'm just adding that the remote is not waterproof whatsoever and it's not even splash proof. So if you're gonna take this out, make sure it's a dry weather, or if it's a little bit of rain, wipe it off as soon as possible. Some other little features about this is, we have a OLED screen here, which you obviously you can see the DJI logo is written at the bottom, so we have this nice little screen here. The main construction of this is all plastic, but it feels like a durable plastic. It's just a pity that it's not waterproof, but obviously because of the port here, that's why it's not waterproof. And I have to say it feels more robust than the actual selfie stick. But as I said earlier on in the video, this video really is a part of, um, just a little part of a main video that I will be doing about the review of this particular selfie stick. So look out for that video. This is my two pence worth on this remote from DJI. It's a nice little remote, I give it that. Things to be aware of, it is not um, waterproof, nor it's splash proof. So if you're gonna take this out in the rain and that, wipe it down straight away. Also, as you can see, it does go to sleep 
You only have a, about two minutes, two, three minutes, and then it will go to sleep. So to wake it back up, you press the record button here, which is the off and on button as well, to wake it back up. You cannot switch off the camera with this remote. So if you, you can switch off the remote, but it will not switch off the camera. So bear that in mind, nor will when you switch on the remote, it doesn't switch on the camera. So, which is a shame. Now, as for the pricing on Amazon UK, this is 64 pounds now you, at the time of this video. And on eBay, you can pick it up for 10 pounds less at 54 pounds. Now you have to bear in mind that if you was to buy a, a, if you had a GoPro camera and you bought the GoPro remote, that's round about up there in that price, probably a bit more. So for the GoPro camera, now for the Insta360 cameras, I think I paid for my remote for that, uh, was round about 70 pounds. So this may sound a bit pricey for what it is, but compared to the rest of other cameras for their remotes, it's kind of in the ballpark. It's a nice little remote, um, to, which complements with this camera. Just a pity that the, you can't deep dive into any of the um, settings of the camera with this remote. You can just only go from modes to modes. You can do, but you just can't deep dive into any of the settings. That's the only thing that's, uh, only thing what's bad with this remote, I have to say. And also the lack of not being so waterproof. So you have to bear that in mind. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail on the item or the product. So when you get it, you know what to expect. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel. I'll be grateful for that. And I'll see you next time.